Well, what's going on, everyone? <clears throat> oh, just immediately there. Anyway, we're playing the McDonald's video game. This was made in 2006, actually, and I downloaded this video game. So let's get started. Now, I used to play this game a lot, so I think I still remember what I have to do. So in this game, you run McDonald's, and here we have the farming. We'll do like three cows, three patches of soy, and we will hire a, an employee. We'll hire another employee. And that could help us for the short run. I will have to hire more employees later, but it's not a priority. We'll plant a little bit more. And now there's an issue with the feedlot where there are no cows. That shouldn't be a problem because we are getting cows eventually. We just have to wait for them to mature. Oh, I forgot to turn on GMOs. Put the GMOs on, and we'll just add a bit of hormones. Hormones will make the cows grow faster, so that's why I'm doing that. Now, I don't need to add animal flour because I don't think I'm going to run out of soy. I have enough plants. And also, the mad cow disease isn't really something that you would like, much like in real life. And then adding industrial waste is a massive scam. It never really works out. Our employee is, is bored, so I'm going to give him a badge, and now he's happy again. Pretty standard. Uh, let's check our profit trends. Okay, we had to spend a little bit of money to make a little bit of money, but we are definitely making money. So now what's going to happen is... Should I hire another worker? Or should I hire another line of... He's spitting in the food. Get out of here. Like, imagine how you would feel. More and more people are feeling sick. Okay. So since that more and more people are being sick, we're going to bribe a health officer. And I almost forgot to turn on advertising campaigns. So we're going to turn on McDonald's for the third world. And then we are going to... Do I want children want McDonald's or do I want the food pyramid? Um, how much is the food pyramid? 600 a month. This one's 500 a month. This one is 600 a month. And then this one is 900 a month. I think McDisney is a little too expensive. It's a little bit out of my price range. So you're bored, so I'm going to give you a badge. See, now you're happy. There is a queue, so I'm going to just hire some more workers. We're on a tight ship here. Making a lot of money. I have quite a bit of cows. Okay, and then I could already tell we're starting to run out of fertility just because of how I'm running the cow part. So what's going to happen there is I'm going to have to eventually rotate my crops where I will sell this land and wait for it to recharge. And then I will have to clear one rainforest, I would say. I might clear two, but clearing one rainforest is the most important. I may as well explain what I'm doing here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm running a McDonald's. So the president of this, or the mayor... I don't need to bribe him because I think we could keep the wheat fields here. It doesn't really matter. And then I don't think I need to clear this random village, but if desperate times call for desperate measures, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'll give you a badge. Okay, so everyone is feeling happy. This guy is really freaking happy. Or he's calm, not happy. I think calm is a little worse than happy, but I'm not too sure. Should I get a politician? I think I'm going to need to bribe a nutritionist, though. Because apparently in this... He's spitting the food. Get out. Out. Out immediately, I say. 
I don't see why I'm the bad guy for firing people who spit in my food. Okay, these are at like 50% fertility. I'm going to sell the land and I'm going to buy two cow plants. And by plants, I mean grazing fields. We are going to bribe a climatologist and now we are going to clear one rainforest. And now I have three wheat fields, I have three cow fields, and I have three empty fields that are recharging, which is perfectly balanced. I have 172 beef patties. I'm at no risk of running out. I'm at $97,000. Profits are going up and up and up. Um, everyone's feeling fine except for the environmentalists. So I can definitely wait. I think this is probably what I should check on the most. This guy's bored, so I'm going to give him a badge. And it doesn't matter. I don't know if spitting on the ground matters, but... I hate spitting. I'm still going to fire them anyway. Okay, we cracked 100k, it's 2007, it's July of 2007, we're almost in 2008, and I think I can just kind of chill here. This land isn't running out of fertility, so I don't need to go crazy with it. I'm going to keep this land open, actually. I know I could, in theory, put cows here, but... I would be running the risk of just running out of land for cows and then just being in a state of waiting. And then I would have to like cut all of my costs immediately, which is not something that you would want. Um, this cow is sick, so let's get rid of him. Yeah, I don't know about you, but if you went to McDonald's and you found a sick cow, like, I wouldn't like that. There are no cows, and if he complains about the cistern being full, that's like a non-issue in this game. Because that just means you're farming wheat too well. I mean, like, I guess if you have more wheat, that's less time you could spend on doing cows, like trade-offs and stuff. But honestly, it doesn't matter. I think I'm just chilling here, basically. What are my profits looking like? Okay, we're still going up and up and up. It's 2009 right now. This game came out in 2006, and it started in, like, 2001. At least, like, chronologically. So, we're running a pretty tight ship here. Well, what's the issue? Okay, I have too much wheat, again. It doesn't matter. I have hormones. I mean, I have hormones. I almost said I have fodder and hormones at the same time. But that doesn't matter. What's the issue? Okay, it's just the sister. How are you doing? You're doing fine. You don't have any complaints. Everyone's not hating us, so... That's a pretty good sign. I made $830 in last month. Okay... I could probably turn off the climatologist. I don't need to bribe anymore. And cutting costs is something that is very valuable. I'm going to keep the health officer and the nutritionist, though, because let's face it, it's McDonald's food. It's not exactly the get out of my store right now. I'll give you a badge. Organized workers, no one cares. If you didn't want to get fired, don't spit in the food. Simple as. Okay, I'm at 53% fertility. I don't want to let it get too low. So now we will rotate our crops. And by rotate our crops, I mean rotate our pasture. What's the issue? Just the cistern is full? Okay. If a cow gets mad cow disease, that would be really bad. And since that the cistern is full, I don't need to add any industrial waste. I don't need to add any animal flour. 
And I'm almost at $200,000. It's 2012 right now. Oh my God. The end of the world as we know it. Okay, polar ice. Polar ice melting doesn't really do anything in this game. So you could pretty much ignore that. Like, the sea level's never gonna beat the shore. The sea level's never gonna, like, drown your cows. It's completely fine. How much does it cost to bribe this? But I don't want to because, first of all, it's $10,000. Second of all, you don't really need it. Third of all, I don't want to deal with anti-globalists. Okay. We're almost at the end of 2012, and let's check our profit trends. That's not our profit trends. We are just going up and up and up. So PR, I don't need to do anything. I think that's good. What's the issue? I have tons of cows, actually. None of them are sick. What's the issue? No hamburger patties. Okay. So I am running... Oh, God, a sick cow. I don't want to deal with mad cow disease. Okay, you're getting fired. You're getting fired. You're getting hired. You're getting hired. You're getting a badge. And now we are fine. I am running out of hamburger patties, which is not the best, but I am definitely pumping it. There's only so much I can actually do. How much does it cost to convert that? Okay, it's just the same as a regular. This kind of sucks. I'm in like kind of a bottlenecking here because I'm running dangerously low on hamburger patties. I might need to slow down sales, but I don't think so. I think it's fine. And then, yeah. We're at 100% here. Again, I want to save it. Should I cut down another rainforest? I think I might want to. I think I might do it like this, actually. Okay, I have the rainforest cleared. That's, that's good. That's all that matters. Now I have four cows, and I can move on to three when the land gets a little too crazy. What's the issue? No hamburger patties. I'm trying. I'll feed you. And by feed you, I mean give you a badge. And you spat in the food. I'm not dealing with that. If you're a McDonald's worker, please put this in the comments. Do you spit in the food? Because I don't... I hope that isn't as common as this game makes you want to believe. Okay, I'm going to have to check on my profits because they are definitely going slower and it's 2016 already oh my goodness time really does fly I, okay um these are still above 50 percent so i can definitely keep it keep it going or my cow is looking like cistern is full okay I could pause the game, but that's not really in the spirit of competition. I'm going to give you a badge, and that didn't really do anything. I'm going to give you a badge, because I hope that would buy me some time before you start spitting in the food. Okay, environmentalists, that shouldn't be a problem. Because the worst they can do is sue you, and I have plenty of money. I'll just replace all of you. Yeah, it's... Okay, so as it turns out, uh, they did do something against me, but I didn't read it, and it doesn't stop spitting in the food. Oh my god. My brother in Christ, you spat in the food. Why do you think we fired you?
I'm letting the fertility get to me. Or the infertility. We're running three cows at once. You gotta spend some money to make some money. Uh, yeah, we're not growing fast enough. So, uh, with the board of directors, the issue is, uh, whenever one of them has an issue, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, who cares? Stop spitting in my food. Um, I could take down a health officer. Maybe that way I could cut my costs a little and grow faster? What's the issue? The issue, again, is that I have too much. So, they... so I'm going to wait for these to actually... I'm going to sell these. That'll slow down my cow production, but it'll give the new area that I cleared out a chance to catch up to this area. There are no cows, which is an issue, but... We're not losing anything. We're gaining money. It's 2019. I think I have a really good chance of getting to the modern day here. And I hope I can make it to 100 years, if that seems a little ambitious. The 100-year McDonald's reign. That would be sick. That would be swell. What, what are the issues? No cows are sick. We have a lot of cows over here. They're eating. They're happy. I think they're happy. Okay. Give you a badge. You're happy again. Every worker is happy. So maybe not hiring that health officer is a little bit of a bad idea, but... You know what? It's 2020. We're chilling. Am I making money? Let's see what the profits are looking like in the month. Making $2,400 last month, which I would say is really good. We're running out of cows, but we do have a steady supply of beef patties, and you're spitting in the food, and you're spitting in the food. Get out. I might have to hire a politician because apparently people love spitting in the food. So let's do that. Stop spitting in my food. That's simple as that. Okay, this is the Consumers Association. Okay, I paid $6,000 in lawsuits, but here's the thing. I'm going to check my budget summary, and we did lose money that month. But, I mean, we are definitely going up in... It's the end of 2021. We are almost in 2023. We're almost in the modern day. Which, I don't know, that feels kind of odd. Because this game came out in 2006. And, like, playing a game from 2006, and, like, you have to make it as far as you can. I think that's, like, the goal of this game. Stop spitting in my food, first of all. Okay, you know what? I couldn't live with my failures, so it leads me back to this stupid health officer. Am I going to make money if I hire the health officer? I'm going to have to check the budget. Okay, okay. I'm still making money. I'm still making money. So, the only real issue is I'm going to sell the land. It's not over 50, but, you know, it's still getting a little too yellow for my comfort. And it is already past the day it is today. As you can see uh, right there, it's June 13th. Um... Oh my goodness. We are really carving a dent in this game. Okay, okay. I'm definitely growing. 
Just because we're not growing fast doesn't mean we're not growing. Um, no one's really that sad except for the environmentalists, which doesn't really matter because I'm not going to hire a climatologist. I don't think I need to. Like, they complain about the sea levels, but let's be real. I One time I melted the entire like, ice caps in this game, and it really didn't do anything. Should I cut down the village just for laughs? Hold on. It's cheaper to cut down the village than it is to plant over here. So maybe I'll learn that for next time and I'll just demolish the village. What is the issue? So this video is definitely going to end when I make it to year 2100 because a lot of this game is just more of the same. It's a flash game after all. What's the issue? I have tons of cows, tons of patties, tons of everything. Okay. You're feeling a little... you spat? I have a zero spitting tolerance. Oh my god. You know what? If they go on strike, I don't care. I could replace them. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, I think this game, like, when it was made in 2006, it was designed to be pretty hard. But it's really not once you know what you're doing. Let's check on the ice caps. Ice caps are at 50%. That's fine. Honestly, this game's making me a little hungry. If I really think about it. Okay, okay, okay. Just... I think we could just wait. Uh, what's the issue? No diseased cows. Not growing fast enough, but let's check the budget. We are still growing. We're at $400,000. Okay, we are losing some money, but... You know, it comes in a cycle. See? It's all a cycle. I'll give you a badge. I'll give you a badge. Now we're all good. We're all good. Did I fire and hire? Stop spitting in the food. I disciplined you and then I fired you. Maybe that's what I have to do so they don't complain. So that way they know they were in the wrong, even though they probably would know they were in the wrong if they were getting angry at McDonald's and spitting in the food. We're at 36% fertility. I was neglecting the cows a little. But you know, that doesn't really matter. Okay, it's 2028 right now, almost 2029. I'm running a tight ship here and you are spitting in the food, get out. You could spread disease most likely. I have a politician bribed, so that might be really good. Do I need the nutritionist? Well, you see, there's not nearly a lot of fat people complaining that they got fat from eating at McDonald's. Which I believe it was like proven in a court of law that you can't sue McDonald's if you're fat. But like this game's not gonna tell you that. We're not growing fast enough, but we are still growing. Just look at this trend. It's going up. It's going up slowly, but... We're making enough money to invest back into the business. So I have three and then I have four. Hmm. 
Maybe I should expand. Okay, you're feeling angry. I don't trust angry workers after the nonsense that I had to deal with for like 30 years. What's the issue? Okay. If you're going to keep complaining about nothing, you're going to complain that I have too much soy. And then soy never depletes the fertility. You don't need to have any fallow fields with soy. So... I'm really tempted to just destroy this village. Honestly. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just destroy the village right now. And deal with that nonsense later. We'll sell the land. Now, what happens is... Once this land gets all yellowed, yeah, I had to spend a little bit of money to make a little bit of money. It's called investment. So what's gonna happen is now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I have eight. I miscounted, I miscounted. It is a shame when you miscount, and we're almost at 500,000. I wasn't paying attention because I'm never going to run out of money. So, once this land gets depleted, we'll plant four. Now we can go four and four. So, actually, what's the issue? Some employees are dissatisfied. Okay, so we will replace. We will replace. We will replace. You're already angry, so... Stop. It's not indiscriminate. I'm firing you for a reason. Okay. But yeah, honestly, I think it's kind of funny. I'm playing a game with some very explicit political messaging. And I'm not really talking about politics at all. So I'm like the opposite of most Let's Play YouTube channels right now. They're not growing fast enough, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so if I have to give you any piece of advice to play this game, it's just ignore this guy. This guy just complains about nothing, and it never matters. This guy complains about some important things and some non-important things. And this guy probably has the most reasonable complaints of them all. Stop spitting in my food. Okay, environmentalists. It might be because of the uh, whole issue with the sea level, but... The sea level is rising, but it doesn't really matter. Not in real life, though. Real life, it's not going to just stop at the beach. It's going to, like... Probably sink some coastal cities, but... In the game, you could really ignore it. So, I'm not going to plant on this field, because I'm going to just even it out, so that way I don't have any dry spells. Stop spitting in my food! Get the heck out of here. Okay, they've organized and they're complaining. Let's see. Are they complaining too much? That's not the right one. Okay, workers are really upset at me. Honestly, they should be because I'm pretty upset with them. What's our trends looking like? We're making profit. We are definitely making profit. <laughs> Okay, now can I possibly, can I possibly cut any of my costs? GMO, no. Pasture maintenance, no. Soy cultivation, no. 
private politician. I'm going to keep that because I got to keep hiring and firing people. What's the issue? I believe, okay. I almost thought there was a sick cow there. Anyway. Politician, I got to keep. Health officer, I got to keep. Food pyramid, I'm running just so uh, fat people don't get mad. McDonald's for the third world, I'm running just to drive up sales. And that's pretty much it. Um, I could cut down two more rainforests, but I will do that later. I'll do that by like 2050. Is this a one-time cost or do I have to do it constantly? Because I might just wanna delete all of this. Oh, I don't think I need to corrupt the mayor. What's the issue? Some employees are dissatisfied. You're getting disciplined and you're getting fired. You're getting disciplined and you're fine. Okay, that worked. You're getting disciplined and you're fired. Okay. It's nonsense. Okay. You're not growing fast enough, but as I said it before and I'll say it again, we are still growing. What's the issue? There are no sick cows. Cows aren't really getting sick. Mainly because I'm not putting anything bad into the soy. I'm just, just feeding them regular soy. Sure, it's GMO, but like, it doesn't affect it too much. I'll give you a badge. Okay. You're at 79, 77. So, I think we're just chilling here. We're definitely just chilling. I'm just going to keep it like this. We're going to keep going. And how long have I been recording? 32 minutes. Is there any way I could fast forward now? We're at $600,000. That is a milestone, I would say. If only making money could be this easy in real life. Granted, I would have to invest this probably back into the business, but... It Honestly, who cares? Oh my god. Okay, what's the issue? Some employees are disaffected. Fire, hire, fire, hire, fire. Oh my god, stop threatening to go on strike. They're just threatening. They're not doing anything. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep doing it. There's an uh, opera and conditioning man. Let's rotate the crops. Increase the density. I find increasing the density is very worth it. And it's 2040. So I think I'm just gonna have to, I'll cut it at 2050. You know what, I'll cut it at 2050. Because honestly, nothing is happening here. And honestly, this is just going to be more of the same. Getting to 100 is just like a battle of attrition. So we are just going to hold off until 2050. It's doing a lot of the same. I have 67 beef patties. That is really, that was almost really bad. I almost clicked on the weather report. Um, I'll give you a name tag now. Give you a badge. You're not really working. You're not really working with the spirit of things. Um, PR doesn't really matter. I have everything I need for PR. What's the sea level like? Okay, sea level's almost completely, like, ruined, but it's not going to go into the negatives. Okay, this land is almost healed, so... We are chilling. You have to learn to uh, wait. 
You can't just go for something. Which is why I'm not planting on these yet, even though I definitely could get away with it. You have to wait for the right opportunity. Should I do McDisney's? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate McDonald's for the third world. And I'm going to activate McDisney's. And I'm going to see if that helps us. Because I have a lot of money. I could actually afford it. And are we making enough? Yeah, I would say so. We're definitely gaining profit. It's going up slow, but like, what can you really do? There's only so much. Let's just chill out. Um, okay, it's 2044. It's the beginning of 2044. We're almost done. We're almost at 700,000. So that is really nice. Really friggin' nice. Who oh boy. Come on. Come on. You are spitting in the food. I don't care that I just gave you a badge. It doesn't matter. You know what? That's going to be what I do. If you're not happy, you're getting fired. I don't care. This is just... People are spitting in the food. There's going to be a health code violation. I don't want a health code violation. There are no cows. You're not growing fast enough. We're at 66%. We don't have to rotate yet. We're at $693,000, $695,000. We are getting up there. $700,000. We beat $700,000. I'll just sell the land right now. Just because I need to do something with my life. Okay. So the sea level has risen all that it can. So I believe that means that no more climate activists are really going to care. Yeah, they're upset, but they're not going to do anything. What are you going to do? Freeze the ice caps? Uh, it's almost 2047. So we can definitely get going here. Um, try giving you a badge. You know, we'll just fire you for spitting in the food. I don't want to give you a badge. That's positive reinforcement. Twenty forty seven. What are my profit trends looking like? We're kind of leveling off, which kind of sucks. But oh wait, you can just check like any month you want on the profit trend. That's pretty nice. I was not aware of that you learn new things every day. What's the issue? Okay, the issue is that I have too much soy. Okay, you have mad cow disease. Get out. It's almost 2048. Just... Okay, okay. A lot of cows are getting killed there. Okay, you're not growing fast enough, but that doesn't matter. I'm tempted to, like, destroy these wheat fields, but... I would really gain nothing from doing it, and I would only lose money, because I would have to spend the 10000 
on bribing this fool. Then I would have to spend like 30,000 on just turning this into like wheat or soy or some nonsense like that. There are no cows. And okay, okay, okay. It's basically 2049 right now. It's 2049. We are chilling. We are absolutely chilling. As you can see by this graph, we are going up. We are moving on up in the world. What's the issue? There are no cows, but there are cows. And there's really nothing I can do to like stop this guy complaining about the cistern. Because it's not like I'm going to destroy these wheat fields and replace them with cows. Because I really don't see a need to. Okay, you have mad cow disease. Frankly, mad cow disease kind of sucks if you have it. So... Because I think there's no cure. And it's like 100% lethal. Oh my god. Okay, okay. It's 2050. I'm gonna call it quits here. I hope you enjoyed McDonald's Flash game. 2006. It's an absolute classic. I'll see you guys next time.